In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to animate the pipes. So I'll just create now simple, let's just close this one. Create now a layer and let's rename this one as pipes. For our previous layer, let's call this one as birds. Alright? So just now create the pipe. Probably, let's have a, something like this. There you go. Alright? Make the stroke black. If you want, you could now make the stroke larger or the outline larger. So double click and make that larger. There you go. All right. So I'll simply have four pipes. Control C, Control V. Make this one smaller. Same thing for Control C, Control V. So probably have one here. And control C, Control V probably have a pipe here right so what we want now is to have a line here an invisible line that would now detect if the bird now intersects with that line so I'll make this red but later on I'll make that invisible so I'll place it here there you go make sure that's red there you go then copy, paste. Let's move it here. There you go. All right. Next, I'll convert this pipes and this line into a movie clip. So double click this one. Go to modify, convert the symbol, and make sure this is a movie clip. Press OK. Double click, press F8 or modify, convert the symbol. Press OK. Double click, press F8, movie clip, OK. Double click, F8, make sure it's a movie clip symbol, and press OK. So all of them are movie clip symbols. I'll do the same thing for the red line. I'll convert this one into a movie clip. So double click this one, F8, movie clip, press OK. Double click, press F8, movie clip, press OK. So here, I'll rename now the instance names of this movie clips. I'll call this one as pipe 1, pipe 2, pipe 3, and then pipe 4. For the line, I'll call this one as line 1, and this one as line 2. So now we have the following movie clips, pipes 1 to 4, line 1, and 2. Now we want now to script them or code them in order for them to the move to the left all right so over your actions layer right click actions and then for the pipes and lines to move to the left take note if you have double double slashes that is a comment the code would not read that one all right so let's call this function move pipes and lines then since this is an event that happens all throughout the frame, just type in event. And since we are not returning any values, type in void, open and close parentheses. Alright? So let's try this one for pipe 1 first. So pipe 1, its x location is equal to the current x location of pipe 1. Since we want this to move to the left, just type in minus 5. Alright? Now we have this function. Who do we want to run this function? We want the stage to run this function. So type in stage dot add event listener. And then since this is an event, so I'll copy this one. Event control C control V and then enter frame. Since this happens all throughout the frame, just type in enter frame, comma. What function would we want we want the stage to run? We want this function to be run by our stage. There you go. So if we press Ctrl Enter, notice now my pipe moving. Alright? So I'll do the same thing for all the pipes in the line. So I'll copy this one, paste it here, pipe 2, so we got one, pipe 2, pipe 3, as well as pipe 4. There you go. I'll do the same thing for the lines. So, okay, there we go. 
therefore, line 1 dot x is equal to line 1 dot x minus 5. And then line 2 dot x is equal to line 2 dot x minus 5. You could use arrays if you want, but since this is just a simple lesson, I'm going to use brute force coding. So control enter. Notice now the pipe's moving the, to the left. The problem with this one is once it exceeds or the stage, it would not go back. So this is what we want to happen. So if, right, you put your condition here, then open and close parenthesis. So if pipe one dot x is less than or equal than, right, if this one is over here, right, over here, so the x is negative. 200, there you go, negative 197, let's make it negative 200. We want it to go back somewhere here, which is 800, right? So this is what we want to happen. So if pipe one dot x is less than or equal to negative 200, then we want the pipe, the first pipe, to go back to the 800th x axis. Right? So I'll do the same thing for all the other lines. Let's just test this first if it goes back. So notice if this goes back. Mm, there it goes. It goes back. So in order for that to loop, I'll just simply copy this one, paste it here, change this one to pipe 2, copy again, pipe 3, then Pipe 4, and there you go. Alright, let's see if it goes back. There you go. Alright, um, I'll do the same thing for the lines. So, control C, control V. Let's test line 1 first. So, line 1, line 1. Alright, let's see if it goes back. There you go. So I'll do the same thing for line 2. So copy this one, paste it here. Then you now have a moving background. Alright, so notice. Oops, there you go. I can now play. Now on the next lesson, what I want to happen is when the word intersects with the line or the pipes, my score increases or I go to game over. There you go. Alright, so I'll see you in the next lesson.